Welcome to this video tutorial for Access Nevada. In this video, we'll be showing you the vendor dashboard for the Post School Outcomes Survey Module. This video describes general functionality for the module. What is displayed on your screen will depend on the roles and permissions you have been assigned, and your experience may be different from what is shown in this video. After logging in to Access Nevada, you will be directed to the system dashboard. In the upper right corner of your screen, the default LEA and the current school year are displayed. By default, the system will be set to the current school year. To change the school year or the LEA, click in the fields found in the upper right corner of your screen near your username. Drop-down menus display, allowing you to select the appropriate LEA and school year. You have two options for navigating to the Post-School Outcomes Survey Vendor Dashboard. You can access the dashboard by clicking Post-School Outcomes Survey from the left navigation menu. This will open up the menu with Vendor Dashboard as the first option. You can also access the dashboard from the Post-School Outcomes Survey tile from the center pane of your personal dashboard. Clicking on the tile will redirect you to the Post School Outcomes Survey dashboard for the LEA and school year you have selected. A box on the right side of the page header will display the exit year, collection year, and reporting year for confirmation. Below the vendor dashboard heading, the open date, close date, and days remaining will be displayed. Below the displayed timeline, a summary data table displays progress towards survey completion with the following headings. Students in list, not started, in progress, submitted, not eligible, will not complete. Below the summary data table, a student list table is displayed. A button appears at the top of the table that allows you to export the data. Clicking the Survey Data Export button will download the data. The exported file will show in your browser's download bar and be available to view and save. The location of the download will depend on the type of browser you are using. Some data provided within the download can also be accessed from the on-screen display of the student list table. The student list table has the following column headers, district name, school name, student name, primary language, status. In addition, an actions column available on the far right side of the table allows you to quickly update information. You can organize the student list table in a variety of ways. Click in the column headers to reveal a sort arrow and use the text field and filter icon located next to the column headers to sort and filter the table data. You can view more students by scrolling to the bottom of the page and using the page navigation options. You can also specify how many items per page you want to display. From the student name column on the student list table, click the name of the student to open the survey. The post school outcomes survey page for the selected student will open in a new tab and display the survey introduction question section. Under the survey title, a button located at the top left corner of the survey allows you to collapse or expand all sections. You can also expand or collapse each section of the survey individually by clicking on the accordion caret found on the right side of the section header. Complete the survey by selecting the responses provided by the student and entering notes in the comments field according to the student's response. Each response will save as it is marked. If the survey is interrupted, you can return later from the student list. 
When you have finished entering the students' responses for each section of the survey, click the Submit button located at the bottom left side of the survey page. After the survey has been submitted, return to the Vendor Dashboard by clicking the Back button. The Vendor Dashboard will reappear and the Status column will show the status of each student's survey progress. If the student did not leave high school between July 1 and June 30 of the target year, the system will not automatically update the status. You must make this update manually by opening the Quick Access menu, selecting the appropriate response, and then selecting the reason from the options listed. Click Continue to proceed after marking the reason. Thank you for viewing this video tutorial. For additional help, search the user guide or refer to the Access Nevada help menu.